Okay, so basically uh, for a long time my friends and I have been talking about administering some sort of challenge between our small little group to see who can beat a certain game the fastest uh, within a certain time frame, a couple weeks or a month or something. And for a long time I've been advocating for Celeste as that game, right? It's a game that's very near and dear to my heart. I have 100% of it twice, once on Xbox, once on PC. Um, you know, gotten the, the Moonberry and, and all that fun stuff, but I've never speed run the game, even though it seems like a really fun kind of speed game. In fact, I've never speed run any game, really. And finally, I've convinced them <clears throat> to go play through Celeste, and it seems like at the end of the month of January, we're going to see you guys the fastest time. My prediction is, so, so basically, the way I see it, I have an advantage because I played the game the most and probably am the best at it in a casual setting. Ben has an advantage because he's unemployed and also a grinder. So he'll have the most time probably to spend learning the learning the strats and maybe if he can find that motivation we'll be able to do well but I, I predict it'll take him a while maybe to get uh, that, that, that ball rolling and get off the hump of beginning the speed game. And Henry has a bit of advantage because he actually played through the game most recently. He just finished the game kind of uh, within the past week. And also is the only one, I believe, out of the three of us who has ever actually done any sort of speedrunning. Speedran a short hike for a little bit, so he is somewhat familiar with that sort of mindset of grinding. But any percent Celeste is a little bit of a different beast than a short hike. You know, I think that those speedruns are about three minutes. This one can range from 20 five up to like I, I imagine 40 or 50 minutes but uh, what my real prediction is is i'm gonna set a time today in this first run that is just not gonna get beat by ben or henry for the entirety of the uh <laughs> of the month of january and then i'll just come out on top i guess all that there's left to do is get started so we'll queue up the live splits make sure this works okay so the the split has started i have auto splitting set up we can begin knowing the layouts to uh, just die when I would go into the next screen or something. So I'm going to avoid doing that, at least for the first run, um, and maybe until I learn slightly more about the game and, and about the layouts of the different but. Okay, level two out of the way. Uh, I don't know if that's a good old site or not. Again, <clears throat> we are really taking things one step at a time. And this is my least favorite level in the game.
Not a good sign of things to come. <laughs> I do not want to die to this big baby once. But I probably will. Clear. We made it through the Celestial Resort. It only took me 12 fucking minutes. And 38 deaths. Okay, not as bad, not as bad. Eight minute Golden Ridge. We are on pace to be a sub one hour. You have to think. If I can get through Mirror Temple without too much work. Monster time. Monster on the loose! It could have gone a little smoother, but happy, happy with that. Happy with that for a first ever speed run through a mirror temple.
There's more? There's more of this stage? Okay. Bad. Bad reflection. Very, very bad <laughs> on reflection. Uh, I don't know much about Summit in terms of how fast it can be completed, but I do. Oh my god. I do know that it is, I think, the longest level in the game, right? It has a bunch of parts, at the very least. So, uh... That probably does not bode well for the sub one hour dream.
Oh, and that's it. That's time. One fourteen oh one. We did it! First run in the books.